You can use custom shapes in Photoshop, CS5, CS4, CS3, etc., PC or Mac, to create Photoshop patterns. Now, got the custom shape tool here. I'm just going to quickly select that. You will see it under the rectangle tool, custom shape tool. And shape palette will appear. There's a selection of options, so you can make a shape layer or but I'm going to use the fill pixels option, which is that one that option there. Shapes here are from graphicextras.com, but you could use, of course, any of the shapes that come with Photoshop or ones you create yourself. So I'm going to select a design, the heart designs. So I'm just going to quickly drag that out. I can change the color via the swatches palette. So I'm just going to change the color of the design. Of course, I can combine put other, other designs into it as well. So I'm just going to add few other elements, maybe a white one, custom shape. Now the document is 800 by 800 and you can always use the filter other offset and I'm going to set minus 400 and 400 to offset the design so it still will remain seamless using this. Click OK and I'm just going to quickly, as long as it's half, half of the document, Create a few more designs here, as long as you avoid going over the seam, so you just keep it all within the center. This is this pattern now. Can we go to edit, define pattern, give a name, click OK, and I'm just going to new fill, new fill layout, pattern, click OK, and the pattern is actually visible in the palette, so it's just there. You can just see it down there. I'm going to resize it so you can see that it is a pattern, that it's actually seamless. I can make it 25%. And you, of course, can move the pattern design. So, click. obviously, you can create thousands and thousands of different pattern designs using custom shapes. And as they're vector designs, you can, of course, make them any size of file. So, uh, very useful tool to use.